back to the science spot on After School Hub. I am Phil, your tour guide extraordinaire on this magical mystery tour of science and amazement. Today we're going to talk a little bit about sports science, it's like, you know, the science of sport. And actually someone sent in a question to us about how do they get the ball to curve around a wall and into the goal and awesome and celebrations and woo! So we're going to talk about that. And it's all to do with something called the Magnus effect. Now, don't worry, we're going to go through this step by step. And I'm going to start off by using some cups. And this is an experiment like most of the ones that you do at home yourself. You can try. You're going to need two cups and some tape and some elastic bands. Now, the cups, well, I have red cups here now, but you can use any other kind of stuff. Uh, ones that are light that are going to be floating in air. Because the Magnus effect is how things move through air, particularly when they're spinning. Because if you want to curve a football, you have to make it spin. So with the football, when it's spinning, you've got one side of the ball moving towards you with the other side of the ball moving away. So you're creating a pressure difference on either side of the ball, meaning it's not equal, which means it's not balanced, which means it moves off or curves away around the wall into the goal. Hero status. Yay! And we are going to use something very like I said before, to demonstrate this, the cups. We're going to get the cups and we're going to stick them together like this. And you're going to try this yourself. You're going to get a bit of tape. I have some duct tape, which I used to call duct tape because I used to thought it was made, made, never mind. When I was a kid, I thought it was made by ducks. My, my dad thought this was hilarious. He's, he's pretty funny, but yeah, he told me it was made by ducks. Okay, so we're going to start with one bit of cup like that, another bit of cup like this, and I'm then just going to wrap this tape around the edge of it like that. So now we have the both of ends of the small ends of the cup are touching against each other. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try and make this spin and spin in this direction so that we have it spinning towards us. And by spinning towards going in that direction, you're going to create a pressure difference, which should make these cups lift up. Now, how are you going to make them spin? It's kind of hard to throw it like that. So I've got some elastic bands. Stay, stay. Okay. So I've got some elastic bands and I'm going to wrap them around. I've tied a few of them together. I'm going to wrap it around like this together. So you can try this yourself. And then I'm going to fire it towards the camera now. And when I fire it like this, it should start spinning this way and lift up. So we're going to give this a go. Hopefully this works because sometimes it doesn't. But here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey! See? Okay, so it goes out, but it lifted. The wind is coming this way, so it flew off a bit that way, but it was lifting up as it went. So that principle, the Magnus effect, is lifting it. But I think we need to see this from further back. So let's let's go over and launch it from on high. Right, so I have the same apparatus, but I'm up high and you are down low. So we are going to try and fly this out. Now, normally, if you just had cups, they would kind of go that way and drift away. But we are going to try to use the power of the Magnus effect to see if it will go and fly out over us. Are we ready? Elastic bands prepped. Three, two, one. Hey, look, see what? Spin, 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 and keeps going. Aha! Spin difference. Now, the thing that I would like to do is to see if we can apply this in real life to the football question we got. To curve it and score a goal. Onward to the pitch. <laughs> right, we've come out to the pitch, Skelly and me. How you doing, Skelly? We're here to do, to do a little bit of a practice before we play a real match later on, you know, against all the other guys, about uh, how to get the ball to spin and to curve. So when I kick this, if we get it to spin, one side of the ball is going to be moving in the same direction, while the other one is going to be moving against it. So it's causing that pressure difference, which means that it should curve off. Now, in order to get it to spin, I'm going to have to hit it on one side. So, yes, time to practice and see if I can curl this into the goal. Skelly? You're in gold. Cool. You can try this with Gaelic, you can try it with Docker, you can try it with Slithers, Table Tennis Pats. Doesn't matter. Once you score, goals like that. You are a hero. And that is all it. 
So I said, actually, I'm a little bit unfit, but that is, means I can practice more. You saw it in every day's lives. Try rte.ie forward slash learn. Log in, try it, send us in your awesome goals, or just even spinning it around people, table, whatever. Matters most, I scored. Yes, first time a try. There was not multiple takes of this. Definitely not 15 tries. Woo, Phil wins.